Okay, our first guest on the show today is one of all the brightest talents from Ghana. He is an award-winning, vibrant singer-songwriter who showed to fame after he got signed to renowned Ghanaian record label Lynx Entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Kwame Eugene in the building. Ooh. How are you doing? I'm fine, yourself. I am very well, thank you. Uh -uh. How is Nigeria treating you? Ah, so far so good, man. You guys are amazing. No wonder okay. you're repping our flag. I, know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I love yeah. the green, white, the green. green. Yes, love. Nice. That was intentional, right? Actually, yeah. Fantastic. Let me, let have me, you tasted our jollof rice? <laughs> I have. I have. I think this is my third time tasting your jollof rice. How, what do you think about your jollof rice? The bottle line, line, line has been drawn. I know already. Yeah, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, no, no. Speak of you me. have to be honest. <laughs> Express yourself. You want me to be honest? And I yes. think that, uh, I, mean, I hope that you tasted the one from Bottom Pot. Yes. Like the one that you know, is saying that, I mean, firewood. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, I've tasted it. It's all right. It's all right. No, you eh? can't just, just all right. right. No, you can't no, just no, 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 no. I think it's 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 nice, but if you tasted Ghana Jollof, I have tasted Ghana Jollof. Right? I have to. I still prefer my Nigerian Jollof. I still Jollof. prefer my Nigerian Jollof because you're patriotic. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. No, that's not the truth. Truth. Here, I'm I'm the truth at all. I'm not the truth at all. The mix so, of flavors. So, we but, give you people a lot of flavor now. A lot. Back then, oh. we used to have a lot of Ghanaians in Nigeria. Hawking, <laughs> Bonds, and all. Now we have a lot of Nigerians in, in Ghana. Ghana selling <laughs> jello. Since, 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 since the party line has been drawn already, God, where would this line be? <laughs> no, I'm not, it's not going to end. Yeah, it's not going to end. Let, let me just chip in on that thing. Mm -hmm. where, where, where did you stand when uh, your brother, Shatawale, mm -hmm. uh, was on there? Right? About the old Ghana, Nigerian, Nigerian guys. Yeah, I think it's, it's something we talk about a lot in Ghana. That whole Niger Ghana banter, it's, it's, it happens. Like, we're used to that. And, and it appears in our football, our music, everything. We think we were better than Nigeria when it comes to anything, and they think they're better than Nigeria. I think that's the whole beautiful thing about Ghana and Niger. And with Shata, <laughs> even we as Ghana. <laughs> You can't predict it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And, and that's not the beautiful thing about Shanta. He has a lot of love, and we love him so much because he's not like a regular artist. He's like he's because I think the last time he even had anything to say, he was actually on our side. Yes. 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 So he came back. Like, he's unpredictable. He, he woke up today and he thought everybody. <laughs> and he woke up today and everybody's his friend. <laughs> okay, so recently you said something, but you didn't reveal the person's name. You said you wrote um, some hit songs for some Nigerian artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you going to tell us who the person is? And one, think, one went viral. When I was on Cool FM, yeah. I asked like the same question. I said, saying um, and telling the person's name will actually fool, I mean, a lot of, or bring a lot of trouble because people back home were trying to um, um, feel the whole Love One Tintin thing feature with me, Joe Boy, and CK into yeah. what I said, because that is what is going to gear more, um, have more attention to their story. They, they, they were looking for a story and all, so they started with this whole Love One Tintin vibe, and I was like, no. What I did with Love One Tintin was a feature. That means the actual mm -hmm. song was even out. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. It was Love One Tintin remix. CK yeah. had done the actual song before we did the remix. Who could Very it be? Because yeah. so, this, this has been... again, I mean, I have Nigerian friends that vibe with them. Yeah. And, and the song I'm talking about is, is on radio and actually helped the guy put it together. Ooh. But then again, putting the, his name out there will start another, I mean... But I think that it's not something to be hidden Most. because in yeah. other times... I mean, before I continue that thought, let's just go on this break. Let's check out his video and we'll be back. Hey. Yes, sir. The king, the king of hip life is in Nigeria. Like yeah. you've won that award several times. It's not like it's your property. Like four years in a row. Yeah, it's your property. Well, I'm so. Eugene in the building. <laughs> in case you're wondering who is, I'm sure you guys have listened to CK's feature of Love Wanting to. He is mm -hmm. the Kwame Eugene, mm -hmm. that okay. very one. Interesting stuff. So before we went on that break, mm -hmm. we were talking about the person you wrote for. Yes. And I'm thinking it shouldn't even be a secret because in other climbs it is listed. When somebody writes the song, yeah. when somebody sings, it is proper structure. No, so, even if they pay you, they'll credit you as a songwriter. Yeah. And, and Africans, you know, we're trying to, I mean, this, we're now getting to understand that songwriting strategy. Mm -hmm. I mean, people back home, if, if, if you're an artist and a song is being written for you, People think you don't have talent enough. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's because we do everything. That's how people wow. think. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, 
that's that idea of one person should do everything. I mean, it's about time we 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 we, we trash that yeah. and and avail ourselves because it's somebody's nine to five to yeah. write for you, mm -hmm. and another person's job is to assess the music. Yeah. So you can have time to focus on performance. Yeah. Yes. Rihanna don't do a lot of writing. I mean, beyond I mean. Bruno Mars was writing many yes, years yes. Even before he became an artist. An artist. Most of um, um, Arkham was writing songs for Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But here, somebody writes for you and go like, ah, so you don't have enough to write your own song. <laughs> so that is why it is hidden, right? I mean, We're you have there. to hide it because maybe the person is trying to protect some brand causes. People still don't really understand oh. what someone, someone else writing for you means. Mm -hmm. So for now, let's keep it in the shadows. Well, especially. Yeah, 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 of course. Especially with the African mentality. I mean, when you come to Ghana, I write for a lot of big artists. I mean, I've written for a lot of big names. Mm. But then again, not all of them you can put them out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But some are okay if you put them out. Mm. Okay. Let's talk dance. Huh. Every time we we'll start with music, they'll say Nigerians stole our music. <laughs> now, let's talk about dance. So you guys have had your dance steps, mm -hmm. and we've had our dance steps, and we've infused them. And so many times, I don't know why there's always a battle line. Can't you guys just come together to work together? If you say we guys, it's like it's just Ghanaians doing it. Nigerians doing it. No, I'm talking about you guys, like Nigerians <laughs> and Ghanaians. You guys are like okay. brothers, oh, neighbors. You're, you're Nigerian, right? Yes, so I am. So it's not you guys. It's like, uh, <laughs> uh, that niger Ghana banter will always be there. I mean... Um, um, shout out to Pokoli, beautiful dancer. Oh, you ha we have Dance God Lloyd, we have Incredible Ziggy. And, and anytime they meet, it's like that. They have to choose one. We are Africans, we have to choose one. We're like that. That's the problem we have. We think the space can be meant for about four or five people at the same time. There should be one person reigning. So, not recently, the Ghana Nigeria match. That's why we're not forgiving you guys anytime soon. We're not going to the World Cup because of you guys. Yeah. So we're, we're not forgiving you guys, you guys anytime I don't know how you always have to be nervous. <laughs> and we'll be scoring you guys back to back to back to back to back. It was jazz. <laughs> See, I'm going to send you out. Send you out for Forgive me. Forgive me. So let's, let, let's, let's talk music now. We see that African music is everywhere. Big. We're taking African music to the world. What is your impact in pushing the sound outside Nigeria, outside Ghana, outside Africa to the world? What's your, what, what are you doing? What is happening these days is um, um, we're, we're getting back some support we actually invested in mm. helping the foreign world to get mm. out there. We used to jump to the Lil Wayne, to the Chris yes, Brown, and Justin right. Bieber. And this is the time where it looks like the whole Africa is together pushing Afrobeat. Yeah. And it's helping our markets go mm. bigger and bigger every day. And now you see Bernard doing what white folks used to do. Mm -hmm. And now, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, recently we did 2000 at the O2. Yeah, uh, um, the um, it yeah. was amazing. Mm -hmm. we, we had a place full. We had people from, I mean, all races coming there to, to, to vibe with us, and it's beautiful. And I think it's because for once, Africans are coming together, and it's not, it's not maybe her life, Zouk, uh, Juju life. music, yeah. and it's, we are all calling it Afrobeat. So the, the power is becoming heavier and heavier. Something and I think everyone can if relate we focus to. on this for a long time, we'll have them come here to do some concerts. Here. Fantastic. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay, now let's talk about chores because, you know, uh, it is mid-year already mm -hmm. and people Summer are... Summer Yeah, Yes. A lot of people are touring the world. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists are touring the world, making their talent known and, you know, getting in touch with their fans. Uh, what are your plans? Okay, so I have a Europe tour, 10 cities, 10 shows in Europe. Okay. So I'm, I'm probably everywhere in Europe. This, I mean, summer, and it's going to be amazing. And it's, it's proud to my EP, Rocks to Riches, that's dropping in February. Uh, sorry, September, Rocks to Riches. It has six track EP that I'm working on. And after that is the tour, and we're going to go everywhere. I think from Europe, we're going to the States as well. Okay. So it's going to be an amazing year. Okay. All right, so you dropped Takeaway Visualizer. Yeah. Is there a video in the works? We're, we're, we're working on a video. Okay, and yeah. when is that dropping? Uh, the visualizer is doing very good, and the video will be out. So we're trying to put some massive video yeah. together. Now we live in a world where the song can blow even without the video. I did tell you. you exactly. Right. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's first, we used to go like, yeah, you have to come with a video. Yeah. Yeah. Now you put Takeaway out. They're jamming on TikTok already. They do their personal video. <laughs> Look at Buga. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not he's working on He's not making the video. video. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? You. It's everywhere already. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's an amazing world now. And then okay. even with the song trending, you see people already shooting their personal music videos you. to mm -hmm. your song. And now, I think Africa is becoming a beautiful place. You know, you have um, and people doing skits for your songs. Yes. Dancers doing mm -hmm. their own videos mm -hmm. for your songs. So if, if mm -hmm. you can even strategize your things well, you, you don't even sometimes have to come out with a video. Yeah. The song alone can do the work. Yeah. So why every time... Why do you time... like that? Why, why the title Rex to Riches for your EP? 
Because um, I wasn't actually born with a silver spoon like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people you had a studio, the your mom's kitchen. Kitchen. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. In a kitchen. That's, that's to tell you where I come from. So, yeah. so, so you're amongst, you're amongst all those artists that will say, "Oh, I started from the gutter." <laughs> like we, we keep checking out the gutters in Lagos and Nigeria. And nobody and people, inside. And, and we, we never see anybody. So that, that's a story, right? <laughs> uh, that's, is that really a story? It was cooking music in the kitchen. I was, I was actually cooking. Strategy. No, it was mine. Is not a strategy. I mean, oh, really? people see me. I'm still young, and I've learned five years in the game, it's because I blew up when I was just 19 years old. Mm -hmm. I had Angela, I'd say, yeah. 19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and my life actually changed, but my mom's life didn't change like that because she had to hustle for my life to change. Mm -hmm. So when I was 19, my mom started hustling when she was 18. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, selling in the streets and doing everything. And, and, and she had me early. When I was 19, I blew up and I had to change our story. story. Oh. So I, 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 I came from the streets and it tells my story. Rocks to Riches and the AP is actually about my life. Yeah. Exactly. So you've been in Lagos for a few days. Any collaborations in the works already with Nigerian artists? I think I've, I've already done one with um, um, Gucci. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was my, at my place two days ago. Beautiful talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're working, I think I'm doing Mayo Kun tonight. Mm. Last, uh, yes, last night I was in the studio with Davido and um, Pato Rankin. Fire. Uh, uh. Um, I'm doing a lot of connections. There's yeah. a lot of work, right? Yeah. You're not well taking done. it slow. Well done. Is there anything you'd like well, to say? Nigeria is too big, you know, over 200 million. Once I'm here, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? I want to say a very big thank you. I mean, the reception. Nigerians are amazing. And, and my name is Kwame Eugene, in case you don't know me. K U G E M I E U G E N E is on Humble the screen. Guy. Go check me out. <laughs> And I have beautiful, amazing songs. You love it. And I'm coming out with an EP Rocks to Riches. And you enjoy it. And thank you guys for having me. Enjoy Takeaway. That's my current song now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, thank we you. We want to so say much. thank you so much for coming Thanks on for the me. show. Thank you indeed. All right. And we've been talking to Kwame Ujene here in the studio. And uh, well, we'll go on this break and we will be back. Thank you indeed for coming. Love you guys. <laughs>